Dolphins are probably some of the most amazing animals I've ever been in the water with. I've dived with them in Galapagos, Papua New Guinea, and Belize. They ride like torpedoes on the bow pressure waves of almost every boat I've ever worked on. And the first time I ever saw dolphins was on the bow of a 100 meter vessel I worked on in Indonesia, the Bali Sea Dancer. Every week, when we passed a certain part of an island, I would wait to see if they would come and greet the vessel. This simply took my breath away. Dolphins have actually been around for 25 million years according to fossil record. Aristotle was the first to claim that dolphins were mammals. He observed that they bore their young alive, nursed them, breathed air, and made underwater sounds. Ancient mariners were actually guided to protection and safety by dolphins. They grew punt and help one another. And in ancient stories of Australian aboriginals, they were actually known to fish together with the fishermen. To this day, I still feel awe when I look into the eyes of a dolphin. They seem to speak to me. I can almost see their spirit. Maori elders from New Zealand describe them as being a human in the sea. Dolphins can reach speeds of up to 30 miles per hour underwater because of their tails and their special skin. Their tails or flukes are made of all muscle and tendons with no bones, and it acts like a powerful propeller. Check these out riding on the bow of a humpback whale. Their tails are also used for stability and steering. They can swim on their belly, their back, their sides. They can make sharp turns and jump to great heights. Dolphins have incredible eyesight and they also form social groups called pods. Their skin is really, really special too, and it allows them to eliminate frictional drag and turbulence because the skin secretes a polymer that acts as lubricant, sloughing off skin every two hours. For cetaceans to thrive, we must make a conscious effort to protect our oceans through recycling, disposing of trash, toxins, pollutants, and also noise pollution. Noise pollution is becoming more and more of an issue in all of the oceans, especially near big ports. When I worked in Belize, a pair of mating bottlenose dolphins broke away from their pod and hung out at Lighthouse Reef. They would come around our boat at least once a week for a couple of months and give each other gifts, kind of like the way we give diamonds. I had not experimented with video so much, but had a camera, and that's how I actually learned how to shoot video was by following these dolphins once a week for about two months. After I figured out how to use my camera, I went back and I learned the behavior of the animals. Once I learned the behavior in Belize, I see it everywhere I dive. So I saw it in Papua New Guinea, Galapagos, I see it in California. So it's really, really important to understand the behavior of the animals. Dolphins are absolutely magical. Every time I step foot on a boat, I hope to see a dolphin.